and I'm the orchestra director at North Cobb High School in Kennesaw, Georgia, and I play viola. <laughs> My name is Nicole DeGuire, and I'm the orchestra director at Fishers uh, High School in Fishers, Indiana, and I play the violin. Uh, Paula and I got a chance to meet about five years ago at the National Festival in Indianapolis when we were both working with the Honor Orchestra of America. Um, we also discovered that we were both born and raised in Michigan, so we are the Mitten sisters from each side, yay Michigan, <laughs> all things cold. Yeah, not only do we have um, Michigan in common, but music is what brought us together, and so we've built a really strong, lasting relationship over these last five years, which is just going to continue and grow. Now, you just heard Irving Berlin's Alexander's Ragtime Band. And if you were listening carefully, you noticed that we were both playing very different parts, and we both had very different or very specific roles. Right. But the very cool thing about music is that all voices are important, and they're important all the time. But <laughs> why does the violinist always get all the good parts? <laughs> While it may seem like that um, the melody is sometimes overrated. You have to remember that the middle voices and lower voices, they all play a really important role all the time as well. Um, sometimes we are the main event, and sometimes we are a supporting character. So, you're telling me music is more important than playing a team sport? We're biased, but <laughs> But you maybe. have to remember, the, <laughs> the cool thing too is, you know, if you play, how many of you here play team sports? Yeah, how many of you get to play all the time? Yeah, a lot of your hands went down. But in music, you get to play all the time. That's yep. what makes what we do really, really awesome. Yep, there's no bench. You're all up all the time playing. So you're literally playing a part, literally and figuratively, all the time. Everyone is valuable. Everyone is vital to the ensemble. How about we show them how roles and responsibilities can be shared? Thank you. 
did you hear that? The violin and viola each had their <coughs> specific moment to shine, but more importantly, we allowed each other to shine at the appropriate time. So in order to be successful in everyday life, we have to be good listeners and we have to be effective communicators. And when you think about it in music, we do that all the time. We just happen to use a different voice, our instruments, to make that happen. Now, when you're taught music daily in class, your focus really is on to play the notes as accurately as possible. And what we're going to do right now is to play an excerpt from a Mozart duet, and we're going to play exactly what it says on the page. <laughs> exactly what was on the page. But isn't there so much more to playing more than just the notes on the page? It's almost like you're telling a story. Music is always coming from somewhere or going somewhere. It's never in the same place. It's never stagnant. I see what you're saying. So you're asking me to play with more emotion mm -hmm. and play with musical direction. Mm -hmm. Why don't we try that same excerpt again to demonstrate this? what we were talking about. Playing musically, musically is so much more interesting than just playing specifically what's written on the page, creating a much more meaningful performance, not only for us, but for you as our audience. And as leaders, you are constantly preparing, you're practicing, and you're always contributing to your ensemble. If you aren't prepared, this shows, and it's certainly obvious, both visually and audibly. Yeah, great, de uh, great leaders definitely have a clear vision. Think about it. We always start with the end in mind. Say, for instance, our concert, our marching band contest, any other performance that we have that we're working towards. We will do whatever it takes to make it to that finish line, giving 110% each and every day to master our craft, to be as good as we can be. Yeah. So from the beginning, we're always kind of thinking of what our final product is going to be and the path that we need to take to get there the individual practicing, the group rehearsing, all the rehearsals that go together, it's just like a puzzle. If one piece is missing, the puzzle is incomplete and it just doesn't work. Now, before we put our final Mozart puzzle together for you, I want you to remember a few key, um, key things. One, <coughs> be dedicated, be determined, be a leader, and to never give up. Remember that leadership is a journey, not a destination. And we wish you all the best journey that you have this week at Summer Symposium. And now we're going to conclude with the exposition of the Mozart duet. We just played an excerpt from for you. 